solving this problem on the screen. The very first thing I'm going to produce is uh, this uh, center line, chain line in this manner. After that, I am not producing a vertical line in this manner. First of all, right here. Okay. So after that, my vertical line will be separated by a distance of what 152 from here down to this mark right here is mark of what 152 okay in a mode i'm having my vertical line right here also okay so after doing that what is the next procedure the first circle yeah, towards my left hand side there. The bigger circle there is radius 38, that's the diameter 76. Okay, so with my compass, I measure radius 38, which is this radius 38. Okay, with radius 38 from this midpoint, I produce my what? My first circle in this manner. Then inside of it, I'm having a circle of diameter 38, and that's radius what? Radius 19. With radius 19 from this midpoint, I'm producing my what? My second circle, which is this. Okay. Towards the right hand side here, I'm having a circle of diameter 50, and that's radius what? Radius 25. With radius 25 from this midpoint, okay, I produce my what? My circle. So what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? Just uh, follow me as we proceed. Follow me as we proceed. So we are told that from this center, the span to the center of the second circle, the top is mark of what? Mark of 102. So with my compass, I measure length of what? 102, which is this. So from this midpoint, with radius 102, I strike an arc in this manner. All right. So from this midpoint, we are told that the distance to the top there is mark of what 146. Mark of 146. So with my compass, yeah, I pick radius what 146, which is right here. Okay, that's radius 146. From this midpoint, I what I strike the corresponding arc. Okay, having done that, then I'm having what uh, center lines. On this junction down here then i'm also having the same thing to this area right here okay so what is the next step from this area now on the top here we are having two circles right the bigger one is the diameter 50 which is radius what radius 25 okay Diameter 50, radius 25. I'm going to do that just now. Okay, with my compass, all right, I measure mark of radius 25, which is this. Then I what? I produce my circle from this midpoint right here. As you can see. Okay, so the circle inside of it is diameter 25, and that's radius what? Radius 12.5. So with my compass, I measure radius was 12.5, which is this from this same center. I what I draw. So, okay. So having produced uh, the circles right there, what is the next procedure? So let's get the first arc right here. It is what an external arc. If you make it a complete shape, we are having what an external arc right there, and that is arc of what radius what radius 76. So on this axis, 76 plus radius 25. That's 101. That's radius what? 101. It's my compass. I measure radius 101, which is this right here. From this midpoint, I what? I strike an arc like this. Okay. So right here, I'm having radius what? I'm having radius what? Radius 38. So 38 plus 76. That is what? 114. That is 114. It's my compass. I measure radius 114, which is this, all right? From this midpoint, I what? I strike my corresponding arc right there. Can you see? 
So I'm having a point of what intersection right here. So at that point of intersection, I pick my compass, then I measure radius what? Radius 76, which is this. Okay, measuring my radius 76, which is this. From this midpoint right here, I what? I strike my arc. Can you see? That is my what? That is my arc right there. Okay, so after drawing that, what is the next procedure? I'm going to uh, pick my compass and get the arc right here. So the very first thing is to pick my compass and measure radius, what? Radius 85. Okay, with radius 85 right here. Okay, from this midpoint, yeah. I'm going to what? produce the center line. Can you see? A center line in that manner. Okay. Then after doing that, we are told that the radius of the arc right here and right here is what radius what radius 18. With my compass, I measure radius 18, which is this right there. So with radius 18 standing right here, I produce this arc this manner. With the same radius 18 from this midpoint right here, I produce what the corresponding arc in this manner. All right, so after doing that, the next video is pick my compass standing right at this center, extend my compass to this area right here. Then what? Okay, I draw it right there. Then from that same center, extending it down here. Okay, after drawing that. Okay, so after drawing this axe, what is the next procedure? This is the next procedure. I'm going to what? Pick my 30 by 60 degree set square. All right. After picking my 30 by 60 degree set square, I'm going to what? Slide it, okay, tangentially to this area right here, okay. So why do I use my 30 by 60 degree set square? If you check the question, yeah, on the screen, towards this area at the bottom, you will see an angle of what? 30 degree, where the what? Line coming from here intersects this horizontal line, right? Right, so that is the reason. So replicating the same thing in this manner, Okay, that is it right there. That is it right there. Okay, so what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? Remember, this line is drawn at an angle of what? 30 degrees. Okay, to the horizontal right here. 30 degrees. Okay, so that is it. So what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? So just uh, follow me as we proceed. Follow me as we proceed. So from the center of this circle towards an area right here, we are having an arc of radius what? Radius 50. So I'm going to pick my compass and my ruler, then measure radius what? Radius 50, which is this. Okay, that's radius 50. From this midpoint right here, I what I produce this arc in this manner, like this. Can you see? I produce this arc in this manner. Okay. So after producing that arc in that manner, just uh, look, let's produce this what bigger arc right here. Let's produce that, okay? Let's produce that. So we are told that the arc right here is arc of radius what 152. And if we take a very good look at it, it is what an internal arc. And that is what subtraction, subtraction. So, okay, so to get the bigger arc, yeah, you know, this arc is radius what? Radius 38. Why this one is radius what? Radius 50. And the bigger arc here is what? Is an internal arc. And it is an arc of what? Radius what? 152. Therefore, 152 minus 50 is what? 102. With my compass, I measure radius what? 102. With radius 102, standing right here, I strike my what? My first arc. So that is my first arc right there. Okay, so coming to this area, Radius 152 minus 38. I'm having what 114. With my compass, I measure radius what 114. That's radius 114. Standing at this junction, I what I strike the what corresponding arc, and this is where the what they actually meet. That is the midpoint. So after getting the midpoint, the next procedure is what take my compass and measure arc of radius what radius 152. Okay, it is quite big, all right. So we we'll measure it out. Radius 152, and this is it right here. That's arc of radius 152. So standing at this junction with arc of radius 152, I what? I produce 
yeah i produce the arc right there can you see as you can see i produce the arc right there okay so that is it right there so this area that i don't need i'm going to erase it off okay so after getting this area now what is the next procedure what is the next procedure the next procedure is this pick your set square take note of this from this horizontal plane down here we are having an angle of what an angle of 120 degree all right so and this area is what mark of 60 degree so i'm going to create an angle of what 120 degree with my 60 degree set square you know if i have a vertical line right here here down here is what is 90 okay then year to year is what is 30 making what 120 that's it okay if i have a vertical line in this manner the angle right here to this area is what is 90 degree why the remaining angle in between here right here is what is 30 why from this area to the bottom is what is 60 that's what i'm trying to do okay so with my 60 degree set square let me erase this jottings off okay with my 60 degree set square i'm going to draw a line tangential to this arc of radius 50 with my 60 degree set square to produce what the 120 degree mark okay and that is the line right there you can see i make it what faint i make it faint so after getting that line what is the next procedure pick your compass measure radius of what 25 okay so with radius 25 with radius 25 stand right here right produce this arc in this manner okay you can see so the arc i produce from this junction touches this line coming here right here so then from this junction also i'm producing what another arc with the same radius what 25 so with the same radius 25 at that intersection right there i'm going to what produce this arc like this can you see i'm producing this arc like this so all right so that is the solution to that uh problem on the screen that is the solution to that problem on the screen thank you